Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here, um, coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. The date is December the 13th, 2018. The time is approximately 1020 uh, Central Standard Time in the morning. Okay, we have terror, terror all around Israel. Okay, here we go. This was posted seven hours ago. Okay, they're eight hours ahead of us. Uh, let's see here. Two border police officers lightly hurt in Jerusalem stabbing attack. This was in the old city of Jerusalem. Okay, let me get back down here. Oh, goodness gracious. The time of Jacob's trouble is banging on the door. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about uh, as we go through these. Because this guy here, Instant News, he always, when, you know, things start happening in Israel, he is on it. Uh, along with our buddy Brad. I haven't even looked over there because I came straight here. Okay. Uh, seven hours ago, two months after murdering Ken Levengrand uh, Yeheskel and Ziv Hogby in a shooting attack in the Barkin Industrial Area, which I'm sure you remember that. I reported on that when it happened. Uh, Ashraf Na Naalwa was shot dead by security forces following a brief firefight in the West Bank, okay? Okay, um, six hours ago, here we go. Breaking, shooting attack at a hitchhiking station near the Javat Asaf in the West Bank, leaving at least two dead and a number of others wounded as this string of terror attacks continue. Two IDF soldiers, six hours ago, Killed and two more critically injured in this shooting attack. One ter terrorist was shot and another managed to flee. A massive manhunt is underway and checkpoints set up on nearby roads. Uh, reports that the car was found, however, the terrorists managed to flee on foot to nearby Palestinian towns. Hamas and the PIJ are praising the latest attacks. Okay. Uh, all Israeli towns in the area have raised their alert levels. All residents instructed to stay home and lock all doors and windows. Uh, Ramallah has been placed under lockdown by the IDF. It is thought that the terrorists managed to run into the city. Five hours ago, another Israeli died of his wounds, raising the death toll to three in this horrific terror attack. IDF is sending additional battalions to reinforce uh, the forces in the West Bank, Israel. Uh, in, uh, in total, three IDF soldiers and one civilian injured in the shooting attack. Terrorists managed to flee, and IDF forces conducted massive manhunt in the Ramallah area. Then, five hours ago, there was a report of a possible security incident in the Hizma checkpoint. It's believed that, uh, I, I'm not sure if it was yesterday or today, from the Afra uh, terrorists, or if it's from today's incidents that are going on, okay? Uh, one of the Arabs was dressed as an IDF soldier. He had on their uniform, okay? So that's probably what that security incident is about. Um, uh, yeah, because then it tells us, unconfirmed reports, uh, terrorists uh, earlier in the shooting today was caught at the Hizma checkpoint dressed as an IDF officer, okay? Uh, let's see. The Palestinians reporting a total closure remains in effect in Ramallah with no one able to enter or exit the city. 
Good grief. Uh, let's see. Uh, two hours ago, IDF confirms two soldiers killed today in the shooting attack. One soldier seriously wounded. Uh, two Palestinians infiltrated into Israel from Gaza fled back after they were spotted by the IDF forces. Then there were reports of a ramming attack in El Bera. That would be with a vehicle. Uh, reports of IDF soldier lightly injured after this ramming attack and the terrorist was shot. Let's see. And the French police, uh, just south of Strasbourg, okay, in France, uh, because they're looking for the Christmas market uh, shooters, okay, um, they have launched an operation just south of Strasbourg, so they believe that they have found where he is dwelling. Okay, the terrorists. Uh, overnight, Israel, Israeli police arrested 20 east of Jerusalem residents for supporting Hamas. Good for them. Um, a ramming attack reported in Kachov, Yakov, one injury reported. Uh, 21 minutes ago, terrorists arrested at the Jafat uh, Asaf after suspect attempted another car ramming. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, go see our buddy Brad, see if he's got anything. Further. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Amen. Let's see what he's got here. Yeah, he's got a Palestinian driver tried to hit policemen that were operating in the area of the fatal shooting attack in the Javat Asaf. He was detained and no one was wounded. As, as many TV news crews were in the area, the incident was inadvert inadvertently broadcasted live on Israeli TV. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. He's got, uh, six minutes ago he posted this. Following the security escalation and the immense critique from the far right... Netanyahu ordered to destroy the homes of the Ofra and the Java Asaf terrorists will be destroyed within 48 hours. Two new Israeli industrial zones will be built in the occupied West Bank. So that's all I have for you right now. That's plenty, okay, and it's early. Um... If you have never called upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, please do so now. For God so loved this world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He did not send his Son into the world to judge it, but that through him this world might be saved. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. Time is short. Maranatha Saints, I love you guys. I'm sure I'll be on again later. It's early. Maranatha.